Transitions can often be difficult for students with disabilities. Instead of relying on an aide or another adult to prompt them from one area to the next, teach the student how to use environmental cues to assist them in transitioning independently. Here is an example of a visual tool to help teach a middle school student with autism to leave the cafeteria on time without aid assistance. When in the cafeteria, he is taught to look and listen for kids throwing away the trash, kids walking to the door, kids standing up, or tables being cleaned. These cues should help him realize that lunch is soon ending and that he must finish up and get to his next class. After a period of teaching this skill with assistance, the student may still need a visual, a small visual cue card to help him remember to look for signs that lunch is ending. Here is one example of a small cue card that can be taped to the inside of his lunchbox or tabletop where he typically sits. Another way he might be reminded is by having his aide show him the card as a cue to get finished up, a lesser prompt than her telling him to clean up and physically guiding him to the next class. Try and teach environmental cues to help your students become more independent. Remember, supporting the lesson visually is very important.